always girly girl productions. I just made a video a few days ago about how Fox Season and Three Drinks made a music video and then posted it and it's the only thing on Fox Season's channel. And my whole theory with this new music video is that it had something to do with a video that he's making. Now after I made that video, there was an overwhelmingly positive response by all of you and I thank you so much for that. But then a couple other videos popped up in my feed and I started to realize that something fishy was going on. After clicking on the Fox Season video, I started getting recommendations for this girly girl productions of some sort. And all of you Gregs out there and Danny Gonzalez's audience are so good at figuring out when it's actually him and when it's not him. But not only was the algorithm trying to tell me something, Danny Gonzalez's audience, the Gregs, are all over the comments of these videos. This feels like Danny Gonzalez. This has to be Danny Gonzalez. Danny Gonzalez is bad at hiding himself. So what is this girly girl productions? This can't have anything to do with Curtis Connor or Danny Gonzalez. Girly girl productions is this faceless YouTube channel that's a little bit new that makes these weird AI generated songs with some of the weirdest topics and generally their topics focus on things like cocaine and the channel looks like it's a Barbie channel it looks like it's for girls especially girls who are a little bit younger until you listen to the words in the songs and the actual songs themselves and then you realize this is definitely not for children at all and if you've watched Danny Gonzalez for any period of time at all it starts to become more and more clear that it sounds like stuff he would put into a song and I think that's why the Gregs are onto something here now before you guys say oh Danny Gonzalez hates AI he's literally said he hates AI in his videos. It's the perfect ruse, guys. Everyone knows he hates AI, so this definitely wouldn't be him, right? I'm saying this is either Danny Gonzalez or this is somebody that Danny Gonzalez knows. And Ned Flames, who is the alter ego of Fox Season, literally reacted to one of Girly Girl Productions' songs. And I can name 10 things as girls need before we ever need a man. One new fake, two lines of coke, three drinks from the bar. So I'm not crazy for thinking this is Danny Gonzalez. It seems pretty reasonable to believe that it could possibly be Danny Gonzalez. Either it's Danny Gonzalez or it's another creator trying to fool their audience by getting Ned Flames to react to one of the songs, which I also think could be a possibility. But everything in this video adds up to me thinking that it is Danny Gonzalez, and that's what I'm gonna stand by or eat a ghost pepper if I'm wrong. So here's hoping I'm right. All right, so this song right here is called 10 Drunk Cigarettes. It has one of the highest view counts on the entire channel so far, 494,000 views. And the Gregs are active in these comments as well. Someone says this is very Danny Gonzalez coded. This guy says how do I explain to my family that I want this played at my funeral? Let's go ahead and see if this song sounds at all like Danny Gonzalez. What? What? What is a drunk cigarette? Is it a cigarette that is already drunk? Okay. Let's look at the community posts here. I want to take a look. We see hi girls and girlies. Our new EP girly secret is out now. Please go stream it and spread the word. Like this post, please just do everything and support the girls. Three more days until girly girls girly secret is exposed. So scary. And the top comments say, Danny, you aren't slick. I hope I appear in a Danny Gonzalez video. Okay. So underneath their releases on their channel, the girly secret one is only two days old. Everyone in this comment section has no clue that this is probably Danny Gonzalez and it'll be so hilarious if it ends up not actually being Danny Gonzalez. Firstly, she says she accidentally killed a man on purpose. That's not how that works, Barbie, but okay. To me, what those lyrics sound like are, she's killed someone before and she doesn't know if she wants to do it again, but she is alive, so she can kill again if she wants to. Girls can do anything, yes they can. Okay, either A, this Barbie is some sort of supernatural killer and it killed three drinks and it's on its way to try to kill Fox Season right now. The second theory is that Fox Season is actually Girly Girl Productions and Fox Season killed three drinks. Hear me out guys, I need you guys to listen to me for just a second. Danny Gonzalez has said in his videos before that he has such a distinct face, he has such a distinct voice, that it's always easy to recognize who he is. So every time he tries to prank his audience, they always find out way before his prank is over. And he's literally said, you guys catch me all the time. So he said he was never gonna try to prank us anymore. And then he immediately said that he would try to prank us again. But what is one way for a guy with a really recognizable face and a really recognizable voice to prank his audience? With a faceless channel that also uses an AI voice. Now. Danny Gonzalez's face is no longer in the videos and his voice is no longer in the videos. If Girly Girl Productions is not Danny Gonzalez or Curtis Connor or someone in their close friend group, I will literally eat a ghost pepper on a live stream. The third song had nothing to do with anything except for how much they love cocaine, which I think is the theme we've already understood to this point. So let's go ahead and hop over to Heal Me, the final song here. So I wrote a list of things that would heal me. Some cocaine. <laughs> 
Yikes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward to the end of the song here and see if we get anything else from this. Again, some cocaine. Ah, yeah, I'm so stumped right now. I'm honestly so stumped right now. Girly Girl Productions is a musician who went viral on TikTok in July and August 2024 with her iconic singles. Around mid-September, Girly Girl Productions began to tease another face reveal. She posted a hand reveal on September 12th, 2024. Around the end of August 2024, a rumor began to circulate on social media that Girly Girl Productions was actually Danny Gonzalez. This is not true, as on August 14th, 2024, she posted a now-deleted face reveal, revealing she was a 55-year-old girl. The face reveal has not resurfaced online. Oh my goodness, the New York Times posted about this? A shocking country song is dominating TikTok is Girly Girl for real. This is on the New York Times, people. 10 Drunk Cigarettes is by Girly Girl Productions, a mysterious trio supposedly based in St. Louis that seem to have a pre-natural ability to turn iconic, startlingly contemporary internet humor into music. There's no way there's a New York Times article about this. It literally has the background on it. Did Danny Gonzalez fool the New York Times? Girly Girl Productions here at the top. It says Girly Girl Productions. You click on that. Now that's going to go to this website, which is not connected to the Girly Girl Productions website, I don't believe, because when you click on this YouTube link here, it goes to this person's channel, Girly Girl Productions, with 44 subscribers and seven videos. This is not connected to Girly Girl Productions that we're talking about. This has nothing to do with that channel. The thing that's weirding me out about this is that in the New York Times article, they literally talk about Scott Hart and these Girly Girl Production people that I think are on that website that I don't think have anything to do with Danny's actual Girly Girl Productions that he's doing. And the New York Times article is linking this Girly Girl Productions here with this Girly Girl Productions here. And I think that they're two completely separate things because this just seems like people trying to make music. That means the New York Times completely messed up. Now we have found Girly Girl Productions on TikTok here. Hi girls, we had to remove this song from TikTok and Spotify because it was being used as evidence in a case against our members. They were cleared of charges. So the song will be going up very soon. Sorry for any inconvenience. So did one of these girly girls have charges against them? I'm looking at you, Fox Season. Did you have charges against you, huh? This comment here from Bruh Kitty Cat says, WTF, what were they potentially charged with? Murder? And then Girly Girl Productions comes in with yes but they was cleared of all charges and then they always stick a little heart at the end of the sentence just to let you know hey we're girly by the way go ahead and check out my video about fox season and three drinks that i made a few days ago all right so what we have here um from girly girl production six days ago says hand reveal and the top comment on this post says real fans know danny posted this exact photo on twitter in 2016 and it has 500 likes danny we know it's you please put me in the video girly girl productions tiktok on august 27th said girly girls girly secret is going to be revealed in two days this comment here says the same day as the new fox season music video drop what and the comment below it says also the same day danny will be due for an upload by a month these are way too many coincidences for it not to be danny gonzalez again i said i will eat a ghost pepper on live stream if girly girl productions is not danny gonzalez or someone immediately close to him like laura his wife or drew or curtis connor and i'm even gonna throw my hat in the ring just to cover my own butt here this could be chad chat now the reason i've said that i think that this might be danny gonzalez is because of a lot of the past stuff that he has done it seems kind of similar and a way to trick your audience that no one would ever expect this could be someone like chad chat or Ben of the Week or some random person in the UK because the channel said it was from the UK. Maybe it's just a troll who wants to get as much attention as possible and it's working. Who is Girly Girl Productions? Will we ever find out? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and my deep dive that could be 100% completely wrong. Subscribe down below if you like comedic commentary videos like mine. All I have to say until then is this is Ryan Askew reminding you to stay askew because being normal is weird and being weird is pretty dang cool. So I'll see you in my next video soon and Bye-bye.